everyone. Thank you for visiting this session. Here we would like to introduce people enablement, which is one of the themes that Fujitsu emphasizes in sustainable manufacturing under the title of People Enablement to Integrate People and Digital Technology. One of the critical threats and issues that manufacturing faces is labor imbalance. It has arisen due to the combination of an aging population and falling birth rates in developed countries. These two factors pose a major issue to the maintenance of production activities. Manufacturing is urgently looking to promote remotely operated practices and the automation of operations. This at the same time as ensuring productivity and quality and migrating the skills that were once passed down from person to person in companies. Under these circumstances, Mr. Mark Schnattinger, Head of Portfolio and Proposition Management, Connected Services Manufacturing and Automotive, Fujitsu Central Europe, will talk about how Fujitsu has worked to realize people enablement and what kind of initiatives Fujitsu is aiming to make for the future. Over to you, Mr. Schnattinger. As you say, one of the biggest challenges that manufacturing companies are facing today is the global labor imbalance. In other words, the lack of people skilled to do the work at hand. This is caused by three major developments. First, an aging and shrinking population in developed countries. Second, a new style of working with the expectation of being able to work remotely wherever this is possible. And third, increasingly complex production systems to realize paradigms like lot size one and product customization. No doubt, your people are the most important business factor. Every day, they make critical decisions related to resources, money, and information. Your people think and act on their own. Your people understand market needs and develop new great things and services. What's more, your people respond flexibly to unexpected situations and are able to solve problems whenever they occur. As labor becomes scarcer, we have to use digital technologies to ensure that we can make the best possible use of your people. The three major areas where we are supporting this are automation and remote monitoring, outsourcing of engineering processes, and the skills transfers of, of shop floor workers. How do we do that? We use digital technologies such as robots, AI, augmented reality, 3D simulation, and 5G to increase the level of automation and enable quick support from remote resources, for example, for maintenance needs. By offering engineering services from our experts, we help our customers to achieve new levels in quality and productivity. At the same time, they can focus on their core competencies. Additionally, augmented reality and AI help us to gain speed in the skills transfer from shop floor workers to new colleagues or digital assistance systems. These help us cope with an aging and shrinking workforce and increasingly complex technical environments. But Fujitsu is also a manufacturing company. We make computers such as the world-beating supercomputer Fugaku. In addition, we have a track record of supporting manufacturing companies with IT systems such as ERP, MES, and PLM, and operational technology in edge environments. Yes, technology is essential. But no digital transformation program starts with technology. As shown, we, we apply technology to the strategic challenge faced by manufacturing companies, that of achieving sustainable business outcomes with long-term value. We are convinced that this is the right approach, and we look forward to talking about your individual challenges in manufacturing. Thank you, Mr. Schnadinger. People enablement is the key to secure a stable labor force for companies and to continue to work energetically for people. I look forward to the future. Next, let's hear from Mr. Masanobu Tokunaga, VP in Digital and Production Control, Business Headquarter AeroEdge, which is making initiatives in achieving people enablement. Over to you, Mr. Tokunaga. Hi, my name is Masanobu Tokunaga. I'm in charge of in digital and production control in Air Edge. Today, I will present about what we do regarding to people enablement in manufacturing, and also I would like to talk about the X Vision. First, let me quickly introduce my company. 
Airage is based in Ashikaga City, which is 100 kilometers away from metropolitan Tokyo. It was founded six years ago. And our shared value is to be a global company with competitiveness by innovative technologies. Currently, more than 90% of our revenue comes from Europe. By taking advantage of achievements in aerospace manufacturing, we are about to expand our business to US and APAC, getting along with new emerging markets like urban air mobility. It requires to manufacture flying vehicles, which we can contribute. We are still a small company with 100 employees, but we have been putting a lot of efforts on digital initiatives. Our factory deals with mass production, so 3D measurement and FBI inspection automation are already installed our production. We also deal with serial-based traceabilities and 100% inspection based on aerospace standards and requirements. That's why big data is generated every day with teaching data which have non-conformity and conformity information. Such characteristics makes it easier to work on automation and AI. It helps us on various initiatives. The important concept underlying this initiative is human-centric when it comes to automation and AI. Let me introduce one of our cases. Our production has a special process that is X-ray inspection. We need to deal with approximately 100,000 items in a year. It requires several pictures per item, so our workers, the special license holders, need to visually check more than 300,000 of pictures one by one. That's a lot of pictures to check, maintaining their concentration. Moreover, they have to do so by looking at the bright screen in a dark room. Yes, cost reduction is important by AI development, but we do think it is more important to make the work environment more human-friendly. In Japan, we are having, facing a shortage of licensed inspectors nationwide. Less workloads and human-friendly environment are the mandatory to run our business. We also believe it enables us to increase our competitiveness. Our production volume is expected to increase getting along with COVID-19 recovery. As a result of all the initiatives by automation, AI, and Kaizen activities, we can make 47% reduction of direct workload needed in the future. This outcome enables us to have employees focus on more high-value added work so that we can strengthen our technology capabilities. We de believe employees are the source of value creation. We keep improving work environment as much as needed by considering employees' happiness. For example, when a natural disaster takes place, we distribute the message to all employees' smartphones to confirm their safety wherever they are and whenever needed. Human-friendly work environment with safety is important. Needless to say, digital technologies are the key to realize the concept. Lastly, let me introduce our DX vision. There are 52,000 small, medium-sized manufacturers in Japan. The number of employees are more than the ones of large companies. It is a big market in this DX era. We believe it is very important how much these factories manipulate digital technologies. AirEdge is a manufacturer itself and one of those small, medium companies too. We do actively practice digital technologies at our own factory. We do know what kind of digital technologies is feasible for those companies in a sense of IT capability and budget. We are getting to know an ideal shape of solutions for small medium manufacturers. Therefore, Air Edge will be able to develop solutions which can be deployed to many manufacturers. We believe these initiatives will empower manufacturing industry during this DX era. We want to be such a company so that we can indirectly contribute the world economy too. I expect Fujitsu, a world giant enterprise IT company, helps us make it happen together so that we can accelerate to make the world a better place. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Mr. Tokunaga. I was deeply moved by Mr. Tokunaga's wonderful efforts. And then finally, I would like to introduce to all of you the customer's approaches
that allows us to take on the challenge of people enablement together with Fujitsu. Oese produces heat exchangers in Italy. Oese needed to achieve manufacturing improvements and improved production space and process design to be able to deliver highly customized products to its customers. Having simulated the manufacturing process on the production line simulator, they were able to reduce the manufacturing cycle time by 13%. As a result, Oese has been able to not only improve manual operations, but also improve the synchronization of human machine collaboration in order to optimize workforce productivity. Airbus, headquartered in France, is a leading global aerospace company manufacturing innovative products and solutions. They have been considering the launch of an automated RFID enabled emergency equipment management solution. The solution Fujitsu provided makes it possible to trace the inspection information of emergency equipment such as life jackets, oxygen cylinders using RFID tags. Airbus has cooperated with Fujitsu, who has successful experiences of RFID integration in manufacturing area, and built EEM solution using Fujitsu's end to end IoT platform, Globe Ranger. The benefits have been as follows. 95% reduction time for pre-flight checking. It used to take the flight crews a maximum of one hour to check emergency equipment, such as life jackets and oxygen cylinders. Now that operation time has been reduced to 90 seconds. The crews simply walk the entire length of the plane, register key components with the RFID reader, and verify that the plane is ready to take off. They just register the condition of the equipment by RFID reader. The crews are now not required to check the life jacket under the seat. This has eliminated the need for this physical task from air crews. Big upfront investment and RFID tag modifications are not required as the cost is based on an annual license fee per aircraft. Please visit Fujitsu website and read the white paper for detailed information. We hope that the approach we have introduced to you gives you some hints for working on people enablement. Thank you for attending today's session. We hope you found the content to be useful and engaging. Please click the link on the screen to answer a brief survey and ask any questions you may have. We appreciate your feedback.